Hi friends, I'm back again and and just just look at this wood. Look at the way it's being transformed. Can you can you even imagine a plank like this? It, it used to look much like this. And uh, you know it's it's beautiful the the way the the wood is just emphasized. Um, and the floors. And this wood is not prepared fully. Um, there's still some work to do, but the nails are removed um, and it's clean. And we're going to cut it to size now, and prepare it to, to assemble it. And just like that, God is preparing us. He is uh, 2 Corinthians 3, verse 18, Paul writes, He says, I'll start in verse 17. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. And we all, who with unveiled faces contemplate the Lord's glory, are being transformed into His image with ever-increasing joy and glory, which comes from the Lord, who is Spirit. And... And not only is God preparing us and, and God is, is cutting away sin, cutting away disobedience and transforming us into the image of Christ. Um, there's also a preparation taking place in heaven. Um, Jesus tells his disciples in John, John 14 verse 3. He says, I'm going to the Father. Do not let your hearts be, be troubled. You believe in God, also believe in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I'm going there to prepare a place for you. And if I go to prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you with me. That you also may be where I am. So God is preparing us and he's preparing a place for us. And I just like to invite you to be obedient. And sometimes it's hurtful. Sometimes it feels as if we cannot go with something that God clearly is calling us to, to put aside. But God is more interested in our obedience than our sacrifices. And I, I want to invite you, encourage you. Um, this wood didn't have any choice. <laughs> I put them through that planer and I'm going to cut it to size. But as human beings, we have a choice. But I want to invite you. I want to encourage you. Would you place yourself in the hands of God and allow Him to prune where there needs to be pruned, whether it's bad habits or bad friendships. Allow Him to prune it. And would you fix your eyes on Jesus and allow Holy Spirit to transform you more and more into the image of Jesus Christ. I'd love to pray for us. Lord God, thank you that you are the one that, that is preparing us. Lord God, thank you that you took us with our sin. And Lord, that you do not hold that against us, but that you come and wash us clean, Lord. Lord, and I pray for such a obedience among us, Lord. Lord, when you call us to, to put aside, Lord, to step up to the plate, that we will be eager to be obedient. Lord. I pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. So I'm going to cut this size to plank. <laughs> I'm going to cut this planks to size now. And we'll speak again a bit later. <laughs>